Hey there, welcome back on the pillars. How y'all doing today? I'm doing excellent. Um, sorry, glasses, I know they reflect a lot. Okay, so now I'm, I'm technically blind. So bear with me if my eyes decide to go to wonder. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by. I know I haven't posted anything lately and I do apologize. Um, but I would like to post and I'll end up tagging it on my Instagram. I've got me a Walt Life box. And I'm gonna open it with you guys for the first time. I've gotten a couple before, but I just opened them. And this time I, I felt like I wanted to like um, record it this time. So with that being said, let's Let's get to opening. So here is my Walt Life box. Yeah, it's that one's kind of upside down. Sorry about that. So let's turn it this way. Now I'm doing everything one-handed, by the way. Oh, that's because it was upside down. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh. Look at that Mickey! Oh, the luggage tag too. I wonder if it says how much it is on that. It doesn't, but we can look that up later. Look how cute that thing is. Are these the new Mickey ears? Oh my God, look at them. They look so pretty. I have to look that one up because I think those are the new ears. I got a Beauty and the Beast bracelet. And again, it doesn't tell me how much it is, but from what I've seen at Hot Topic and Bunch Locks, I'm going to say it's probably about 10 bucks. Not bad if you ask me. Uh, what's this? You are awesome. Snap a photo of this on Instagram. Oh, cool. I'll have to do that later. Let's see what else can we get. A bunch of this white crap. It's a mini keychain. This one's from the park. You know how I know this is this one's from the park? Is because anything from the park has this has a, a label that says red or orange or lavender or tangerine, like a color. And then there's like a thing that tells you how much these are. And I'm gonna have to look that one up. And look how cute that is. Okay, okay, what else did we get? A bunch of this. Oh, 2020 Florida. <laughs> Even though I didn't go, but I can say that I went thanks to, um, I am going to shout out um, the Tim Tracker because, you know, he does a lot of awesomeness in his videos and the parks just open up enough for him to be able to go. So a shout out to the Tim Tracker. If, you, if anybody of if my fans want to like link him and to my video that'd be great because I keep seeing his videos and I feel like he deserves this one more than I do even though that I didn't win. Let me see, did this one come from? No. It doesn't have a color on it but who's to say that it didn't actually come from the parks, you know. And oh, I got an eye. I, hmm, yeah, I'm polarizing. So the eye, so this piece right here, basically if I can get all the pieces that spell Walt Life, then <clears throat> what will happen is that um, I'll get a special prize uh, through Walt Life. So I suggest you guys um, do 
Ooh, let me remove all this white fluffy crap. Since I happened to open the box upside down, couldn't understand why. Because it was upside down. And if you someone says dream Okay. <clears throat> So let's look on the inside. What is a riddle? <clears throat> riddle one. I am a great listener even if I do not speak. I like to fly and feel like I am feather light. My life can sometimes be a bit of a circus. <clears throat> Who am I? Well, my lovely caterpillars, I do believe that the answer is Dumbo. I do believe this is Dumbo. If you think that Riddle 1 is Dumbo, type in the comments um, r hashtag 1 dash Dumbo. And oh look, here's another riddle. Riddle 2. I dislike fairies. My temper is ticking time bomb. I'm hooked to sailing the seas. I'd like to cruise on water forever and never land. Who am I? Well, the only person I can think of, and I hope I get this riddle, is Captain Hook. If you guys think that I'm right, and you also think of Captain Hook, type in the comments, r hashtag 2 dash Captain Hook. Let's see here. Why? White, uh, Walt Life Treasures game board on the back. Oh, sorry guys, doing this one handed. Huge thanks to our heroes. Um, I haven't really been to the doctors um, due to the fact that um, I'd rather be safe. I mean, everybody should be safe and sorry. And I want everybody down below in the comments to nominate somebody who is an amazing doctor or nurse that is helping against the COVID-19. Um, I'm not going to say what I think about the COVID-19 due to the fact that it's controversial at this moment. Um, so I'm going to keep my comments to myself. Um, the people in my inner circles know how I feel about it and that's all I'm going to say. Um, so like I said, like here, um, if you spell out Walt Life, um, It says, collect what life using Walt, win an official Disney pet item. So, if you collect just Walt, you can win a Disney Sim Sim Mini. If you collect just life, you can also win, you can win a Disney Mini Beanbag Flash. If you collect Walt Life, win an official Disney Parks item. If you collect Walt Life without any wilds, win a trip to two to Disney World. And that's what I'm hoping. I have one wild. But I'm hoping to get all the other ones. And it's going to take a little bit. But you know what? And we, I always check for the instant one. If you receive one of these, you um, you get a free Disney pen. So, we'll see. Now, let's go see what the riddle. The riddles are on the bottom. <sighs> ah, in the corner. I was right. Dumbo and Captain Hook. We all have the magic inside of us. So there you go, kind of pillars. Thanks for joining me and opening up my Walt Life box. I mean, of course, I've had a couple of others. Um, I got one that was green. <laughs> um, if you give me just a moment, I'm gonna do some research real quick and I'm gonna find out the prices for the items that I got. To, so that way you guys can know and you guys can, and I can tell you what the items is. Uh, most likely all I'll do is I'll end up looking them up on the Disney um, merchandise app or like the website and stuff uh, to see because that is where you can buy most of Disney's merch unless it's at a Disney store nearest you. And if there's not a Disney store nearest you, you know, you could just go to the Disney merch. Um... So, if you give me just a moment, I'm going to look at that information and I'll be right back. Oh my 
we got another story that took so long uh, doing the research here. So after doing a little bit of research, I have not found this particular, oops, sorry, I've got a hand, new handheld tripod, try thing that I'm marketing. So these Mickey ears, well, mini ears, because they're definitely mini mouse ears, but still Mickey ears. These ones I have not found, so I don't know if they're new or it's a different design. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments or ask the Tim trackers and see if they can find the same set of ears. But roughly speaking, they're going to be about $30, give or take. If they're special editions, they're going to be a lot more, but roughly speaking, they're 30 bucks. Um, the Beauty and the Beast bracelet, um, set here is uh, roughly $15, give or take. Um, but it's in that price range. Um, it was a little bit hard to find, um, due to the fact that it may not be in, uh, selling retrospect anymore. It may be just out of, you know, that particular style is out of stock, but yeah. This fancy luggage tag. Most of the luggage tags that I found are about $12, so I'm going to guesstimate that this is also $12, if you're just wondering. Um, this one is an official park merchandise. The reason why I say this one is, is because of the, the, the tag that says red. This one, um, depending on what they had the price set, um, it's in, you're looking at anywhere between 10 and 15 I'm going to put in that price range. If anybody is at the Disney parks and sees this and can tell me, um, what can tell me what she's worth, uh, in the red tag. And if I'm right or wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right or roughly right, you know, cause like I said, I put it in a price range of 10 to 15. Um, Same with this guy. I put him in with between ten and fifteen dollars. It's a twenty twenty um, Mickey and Friends. Um, obviously, it's from the Disney parks down in Florida. Uh, roughly speaking, most uh, keychains are going to be in that price range. Um, due to the fact that it's rubber, it may be different. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Jerry Lee. Oh, uh, so if you guys you know, know the actual price of this, let me know. Okay, so that's all the fun stuff down um, that I got in my Walt, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> that's all the stuff that I got out of my Walt Life box. And I thank you guys for joining me in unveiling it. Um, so I wanted to give you guys something different to watch. Um, I know things have been hectic with this COVID crap. Um, and I already know I'm going to get a bunch of comments because I called it crap. But if you want to have a discussion about the COVID, you can personally, you can email me through, through Insta, Facebook, or YouTube. And we can have a private discussion about this. I will not discuss it on my uh, channel due to the fact that I've got a lot of people who watch it and a lot of and this is controversy at the at the moment that being said um there's not much else to do all right guys I'm gonna let you go I got some things to do um so <clears throat> excuse me um so I'll see you guys in the next video Hey guys, uh, just a friendly reminder before I end this video, if you could please comment, like, share, um, anything, let me know what I'm doing. If you don't like my, the way I, I format my videos, let me know in the comments. The only way that I'm going to be able to grow as a, um, as a blogger for the cosplay, com cosplay community is if you guys let me know, hey, I don't like seeing you doing it like this or... I really enjoyed it when you did it at this convention, the way you blogged it that way. Um, I really enjoy positive comments. Negative comments are going to still hurt, but there's still ways to grow. If you can find a way to say, hey, this isn't the right way to do it, you know, you could check out 
X, Y, and Z bloggers and maybe copy them for a little bit and see, and then we can go about that. If you can comment something negative to be positive, that'd be great too. I know this is sounding random, but I've been noticing that not a lot of people comment on my videos, so I wanted to make a quick shout out to that. And if you have, I thank you for commenting. Um, I read everybody's comments on my videos. Um, I do enjoy reading everybody's comments. They, they really do. Honestly to God, they really do bring a smile to my face when I read comments. Um, so with that being said, I am, I am fluttering off and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.